you know, this was kind of unexpected. Yeah, I'm still in that hotel room. It is the morning after I recorded the videos that are supposed to come up on the YouTube channel today. And the Vancouver Canucks have claimed Jimmy VC off of waivers from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, this is actually pretty interesting. Because when you take a look at it, this is like the bare minimum the Vancouver Canucks could have done to, at the very least, improve their team. Because just from a strict numbers point of view, Jimmy VC is already a better asset on this Vancouver Canucks squad in terms of total points than, if you take a look at the numbers here, Tyler Mott. Adam Gaudet, Jay Beagle, Jake Vertanen, Antoine Roussel, Jace Howerluck, McEwen, Erickson, Bailey, McAllis, etc. Jimmy VC is already a better player in terms of numbers than the guys that are already on this team. And so, if you take a look at the fact that Jimmy Vc was put onto waivers by the Maple Leafs yesterday, a guy making $900,000 this season, it seemed like a no-brainer that this is a player that makes your team better. Now, whether or not this makes room for a Vancouver Canucks trade in the future with another asset because they need to start, I don't know, adding a different guy on the taxi squad because they have an extra body, I don't know if that's going to happen. But at the very least, from a bare numbers point of view, this is a guy that is already a better bottom six contributor offensively than the other players we have had there. And if you know the Vancouver Canucks, you know that offense from the bottom six has been really tough to come by this season. So we need all the help we can get. Jimmy VC, we all kind of remember Jimmy VC as being that Hobie Baker candidate guy who was really good in Harvard, who didn't want to sign with the team that drafted him in the Nashville Predators all those years ago. He went to New York because he wanted to go to New York after some time there. And then with the Sabres, he signed with Toronto and now he's got seven points in 30 games played as well as, interestingly enough to note, some penalty killing time as well. So we will see if he actually is given that kind of a role on the Vancouver Canucks too. But yeah, at the end of the day, this isn't really the biggest move in the world. I'm pretty sure the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to be fine. We'll see if Alex Galchenyuk starts slotting into the lineup now that there is an extra forward spot available on that squad. But for the Vancouver Canucks, I see this as an absolute bare minimum. And I'm honestly kind of surprised that Jim Benning did this because Benning doesn't really do anything. Like, to be honest... I was honestly really surprised rolling out of bed, going over to the hotel for breakfast and seeing that the Canucks actually claimed someone off of waivers. When was the last time we did this? Was it Brandon McMillan all those years ago? Dale Weiss? I'm not even too sure. My memory's kind of jogged up. But according to the Vancouver Canucks PR, it looks like Jimmy VC will join the Vancouver Canucks in Ottawa and the team will confirm and update the status as to whether or not he's able to play once details of a work permit status are confirmed. So it's good that they're claiming a guy from Toronto because he is already here. He doesn't need to quarantine, I would assume. Looks like he will be able to slot into the lineup quickly. But yeah, Jimmy Vesey's coming here. He's not terribly old. I mean, 27 is pretty much in the prime of your career, and at the end of the day, he is still a guy who was able to have a two-goal game or whatever against Edmonton all those weeks ago, so there's still some positive memories, I guess. But talk to me in the comments what you think the Canucks have claimed. Jimmy VC. I hope you enjoyed this Vishash Rolls 99. And bye.